But you and Catherine went through this. You through a very serious. I, I should have died. Uh, I had cerebral malaria. I picked it up in a refugee camp in the border of Burma and Thailand, uh, Myanmar and Thailand, and um, I was near death. And, and the first week that I was sick, um, I, I didn't know I had malaria, certainly didn't know I had cerebral malaria. I didn't find that out until afterwards. Um, and I was standing on the word. I was naming and claiming everything. And this is just some kind of Did tropical... Did you think you were going to die? Dis no, that first week I didn't. Uh, once I got a, once I started vomiting blood, once I started yeah. urinating blood, mm -hmm. and once I saw the doctor make the final diagnosis, I knew I was in real trouble. Um, and there was a point in my care where I mean, you, you, you get in these situations, and the, the heavens are brass, and we use yeah. that term, um, and it's a term from the Bible. Uh, but until you live it, you don't really understand it. Where it's like your your prayers bounce back at you. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing gets through, um, you, you, and it's and there's just I this feel very silence. Alone. Yeah. Um, and I had to get to the point where I completely surrendered and said, Lord, if you want to kill me, if somehow or other my death here is uh, at that point in time, uh, Asian Center for Missions was just kicking off and was was really. Uh, revolutionizing missions work in the Philippines for training and sending cross-cultural cultural missionaries from the Philippines to the world. And it flashed through my head, uh, you know, Borden of Yale, uh, Henry Martin of Cambridge, both of whom had died uh, early in their missionary career and sparked a revolution and, and encouraged so many others to go. Well. So I, I, I literally had to pray. But for, for Catherine, there was even preparation for her. In the, in the first week of my sickness, she's, you know, doing her normal routine, and she's getting some clothes out of a closet. And that's, she heard a voice behind her saying, how would you care for someone who is dying? Which is not a question you get. Yeah, often. Awesome. Uh, you know, certainly it was... It what was, did she it, think? She, I mean, she, she was startled and... and and immediately thought about, okay, God's preparing me for some kind of other ministry, medical missions, how, how do we do this? And, and she wasn't thinking me. Mm -hmm. um, and within a week of that word, it was me. Yeah. And it's very hard to be the spouse of someone who's in such a compromised situation because now you are it. You've got everybody's back on the, <laughs> the family front. Very difficult. So how did you guys work through that? God did a miracle. Um, we, uh, she came on death watch. I, I didn't know that was what was going on. I, I didn't know the nurses were talking to her uh, mm -hmm. that way. I didn't know the doctor. Um, they essentially didn't diagnose me right in the first few days I was in the hospital. And the um, parasite had already reproduced so much that uh, I was being seriously compromised. My liver shut down. Mm. My eyeballs were yellow. Uh, I was urinating blood by now, not just vomiting blood. And it was grim. And she was overnighting in the hospital. They set up wow. a cot next to me, and she was overnighting in the hospital. Uh, but God did an, an amazing miracle. As soon as I prayed that, it was like it broke. Uh, as soon as I prayed, Lord, if, if, you, if you want me to, to sacrifice my, if you want that, if you want my death, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it just, something just broke with yeah, that. It's it like was a total surrender. That, that sacrifice to say, you, you know, not my will be done, your will be done. Mm -hmm. uh, let's not, you know, stop living selfishly and say, okay, what, what's God's plan here? Is there a larger plan and purpose? And it broke. And the next the next week, I was completely healthy, uh, preparing for a mission trip to India. Um, the eyes, I'm, literally within 48 hours, my eyes cleared, That's my liver function of. returned, um, went to see a doctor just to get the final test, and he, he did a blood test on me and said, I've never seen this. You, you are completely free of malaria. I can't even find dead parasites. I shouldn't tell you this, but you should have died. Yeah. We caught it too late. Uh, wow. And on the same, in the same, I was in Manila, same hospital, 
same floor, a Frenchman had died from cerebral malaria wow. a week before I was admitted. Um, and so that's why they were all preparing. But, mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was an intense time. Yeah.